talk about it. Put a disclaimer here to say I do not know how legit what I'm doing is. I'll take it. Thank you very much. I've been debating whether to film this clip or not. Good morning, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. The only reason why I'm weekly vlogging this week is because the weather, don't get me started, look at this, delish. What more could you want in life, honestly? I know it's such a British thing to say, but I just don't care. It's Tuesday morning, I didn't want to film yesterday because yesterday was just a, I don't actually have any words. Yesterday was meant to be a productive day. It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that good either. We were somewhere in between. I don't want to think about my to-do list, so we're just gonna forget about that for now. I'm currently sat here eating my porridge, chocolate, of course. The sun is shining. It's already 11 degrees out. And this time yesterday, I went on a walk and it was one degree. Like, how was that even possible? I done my nails last night. My hands are so dry and crusty. It's literally like a character trait of mine at this point in time but i know my nails last night there's like, like cute like pale lime green kind of color thought i'd go for something a little bit summery i don't hate doing my nails i just hate how long it takes like these took like an hour i think and i just don't have the time for it like to sit there and do that for an hour and these are not even like if i'd done something else it obviously would have taken longer like i've literally just done a plain color but there you go so yeah i'm up i'm eating my breakfast i need to start work in a second i need to go get dressed I feel like today's gonna be busy. I've got a lot of stuff to do. I wanted to try and film a video on my lunch break as well. My hair's still wet, which is great, but yeah, I wanna try and do that. Um, I've got quite a bit of work to get through. Tonight, it's a monumental occasion. It's gonna be the first barbecue of the year. Would you believe? Starting off early, I know. Yeah, so I'm going over to my mum's this evening to have a barbecue, which I'm really excited about. We don't actually have a barbecue. We did have one a couple years ago, but I think it broke or something. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Yeah, I've got some fun plans this week. I just gotta make the most of the sunny weather. Do you know what I'm saying? Days like this don't come around that often at this time of year. So 17 degrees in March, I'll take it. Thank you very much. literally just finished filming my first video back to youtube um oh my gosh safe to say i'm very nervous it just felt like a lot of pressure to sit down and like film a proper sit down video oh stressed well, i'm gonna take uh, my laptop back downstairs now yeah i just filmed that on my lunch break so i need to go do work again i've just put my hair up because i'm a bit hot and flustered but yeah i'm gonna go import this 
the footage into my laptop. I'm hoping it's come out okay. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know why. Like, vlogging is so much easier and more chill, but sitting down and like in front of the camera and having to film a video like that was just, oh my gosh, I don't know. I was nervous. I need to go crack through the to do list. Do I want to? No, but anyway, right, let's go. You literally know that someone's coming when that happens. So I kind of failed a bit. I filmed this morning when I took my hair out, the overnight curl thing that I did. It's dropped out now. My hair never holds curl, that's nothing unusual. But then I literally have not explained or said anything since. I didn't explain anything else and I don't think I mentioned, but I went into work today. So I went into the office. I had to go in for, well, I didn't have to, but I felt like I should be there for something that was going on. I stood at the time and I've been filming for 1 minute and 11 seconds, so it said 111. Yeah, here we are now. I've been debating whether to film this clip or not. Um, and I'll explain why in a second, but evidently I have decided to. I won't have just cut to tomorrow and just gloss over. I don't know. But I have got pyjamas on under this, by the way. Um, but one thing that I told myself when I come back to YouTube is that I just wanted to be 100% my true authentic self it's not like I wasn't that before I just feel like I could be more and like to not hold back and to just show who I am and accept that we're all going through stuff or like we all have bad days or sometimes we just don't feel good for no reason whatever like that's life right like I just didn't want to when I was posting to YouTube before I felt like I was I felt like I was always trying to show you the best version of myself yeah I guess I always wanted to put out positive energy and good vibes and obviously I still want to do that but that's not necessarily life so yeah I just wanted to come in here to say that I didn't have the greatest day I definitely didn't have a bad day up until this evening <laughs> nothing had happened to make it like a bad day i just wasn't i felt fine this morning i don't know why i feel like that like i literally can i know the exact reason why i feel like that and then yeah i come home and i don't want to dwell on it <laughs> then something bad had happened and i guess me being me i am such a deep thinker i'm such an overthinker i don't want to be depressing and negative um, but I am a huge believer that everything happens for a reason. Something that happened earlier just made me literally sit there. This was not even, like, in work. This was after when I got home. Yeah, it's just something happened that I'm just, you know, you just question. And you're like, but why did that have to happen? And I feel like there are a lot of situations like that that you just can't really explain. I do believe everything that happens for a reason. So I'm like, there has got to be a lesson in that or, like, a reason that had to happen the way it did. But you know, it just still doesn't make sense. And you're just like, universe? Like, what are you doing? Maybe it's something I need to research. <laughs> so I feel like I've always, yeah, there's, I've always wondered like certain things in life that I'm just like, but but why? Like, but why? I don't understand. But yeah, you've just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Things are working out the way they are supposed to. And then it is all part of the plan. So I'm just going to have a nice, chill, cozy evening. As you can see, I'm already in my PJs. It's like, it's nine o'clock already. I hope that wasn't negative. Like I said, I just wanted to, I just want to be as true to myself as possible. In these videos i will speak to you again tomorrow it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be another sunny day i left the house without a coat this morning what the actual hell i'll speak to you in the morning hello again as you can see it is the next day funnily enough after i filmed that clip last night would you believe the universe apparently had some more bad luck in store but that is okay we're just dealing with it look there's nothing i can do i don't want to talk about it uh i woke up this morning i was in a bad mood but i was like not again no thank you not today i got up oh my gosh it was 111 again by the way i'm filming my phone my camera is here but she's dead so i just don't want to go get a new battery it's a new day and i was like do you know what i've had enough of this bad mood so i got out of bed it wasn't even hair well it kind of was hair wash day but I was planning on stretching it another day, but instead I thought, do you know what? It'll make it feel better if I wash my hair. So I've washed my hair, it's still wet, mind you. I was gonna straighten it, but I don't think I can be bothered. 
it's still really damp. Yeah, wash my hair so she's all fresh and a bit all over the place. And I put some makeup on to make myself feel like I've got my life in order, even if I haven't. Part of the reason why I wanted to film this vlog is because I had some fun weekend plans, but I think we will have to cancel them and potentially move them till next weekend or something. I don't want to talk about it. COVID, I just, I don't want to talk about it, okay? I was thinking of sacking this vlog off, but we're not going to. I don't know yet because I haven't edited it back, but I feel like I really like the stuff that I filmed on, I think it was like Monday. No, Tuesday. I started the vlog Tuesday. I really like the stuff that I filmed on Tuesday. Um, I think we're going to have a bit of a self-care, wholesome weekend. I opened up my... I caught up between my knees, would you believe? I opened up my diary this morning and I literally, I can't even tell you, honestly, every day has a different quote at the top. I opened it. I'm bearing in mind what I said last night. Yesterday was just... There was stuff happening which that's out of my control there's nothing i could do about it is what it is i opened the diary and it said that the quote for today was just remember once you are over the hill you begin to pick up speed do you know what you're right you've just got to get through the storm do you know what i mean you've just got to get through it so i thought do you know what good things are coming and then if any of you out there are into angel numbers i literally said it was five anyway i'm not even gonna go there um oh my god and it's 12 12 on the clock i literally just saw 505 on my thing of how long i've been recording and now it's 12 12. and then i looked and i realized i didn't even look i just then noticed that as soon as i read that quote the page number is 111 what the hell so i'm taking that as my positive sign that good things are in fact coming so yeah anyway it's thursday i'm currently sat here working spent the majority of my morning on the phone which was not planned i've got a bit more to do today than i originally thought but again that's fine we're taking it in our stride um so i've got a call at one and i've got another one at two so i was thinking of i need to take lunch at 12 but then it's already gone 12 so now i'm i don't know what to do basically i was gonna go on a walk at lunch because the weather beautiful so instead i was thinking do i like go take the covers off like our outside furniture because the weather's obviously only just got nice and go and sit out there for a bit and like eat my lunch and I was going to edit a bit of a video or something but then I haven't got enough time so I've got to call one basically I'm not sure oh I need to go to the post office as well see okay yeah I'll do that later and then I can go on a walk at the same time so I'll need to walk to the post office got it hello I thought I'd go and get my camera battery so that's good what I do a little one box in so I said I've got to sneeze oh my god I hate when that happens um, I didn't end up taking my lunch break earlier, so I'm going to take it now instead, even though I already ate, but I ate while I was working. You get the gist. But I'm going to go to the post office, I've got an ASOS return to do, and then I also need to go post something else, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. But then I have another ASOS parcel that I've not opened yet, so I thought if we open it now, then take it at the same time if I need to return anything. I have been waiting for this jumper to come back in stock, and it finally did literally one of them in my size, so I was like, well, if that ain't a sign, I don't know what it is. I think I... I kid you not, I saw one 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 again. I lit I have no words. I think I said in one of my last in my last weekly vlog actually. Um I'm obsessed, obsessed with the colour blue. It's gotta be like a cobalt or like royal blue. I could, I literally I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. How? <gasps> Stop. I love it. It's from Stradivarius. I got it in a size small. That's actually huge. I feel like I would have rather an extra small. Okay, maybe we're just gonna have to try it on and hope for the best. I got a pair of mum jeans as well. I wanted a pair of mum jeans that are like mum jeans but skinny mum jeans, if that makes sense. So I got these, which I think are also from. Yeah, try to vary as well. These are the jeans, they're just the mum slim fit. They look pretty nice to be fair. Do I need another pair of jeans? Then most of the jeans that I have, I need to do a like clean out of my denim drawer because. <laughs> There's just so many in there that I don't wear. Have I been to the post office? No. Have I literally been sat at the dining room table since I last spoke to you? Pretty much. Have I finished with work? No. I've still got work to do. That's really fun. But <laughs> one thing I really do want to do today, because I've been meaning to do this for a couple of days. This is a little bit random. Um, sorry, I appreciate I'm literally always sat here. It is because I'm, I'm always sat here. This is a whole, like a whole story. 
within itself. I've only noticed it this year. Well, actually, no, I did suffer with it a little bit last year, but I've been suffering with like, I don't wanna say bad, but like fairly bad bloating, like non, not normal bloating. Just like really, really uncomfortable stomach, really, really bloated, feeling like my stomach just can't digest the food that I'm eating sometimes. It can last like ages. And then sometimes I get really, really bad flare ups with it. And like, I literally cannot eat. Like my stomach will be huge. Bloating is so normal to a degree. Like obviously after you eat a meal, your stomach's gonna be bigger, whatever. Like that's so normal. But I just noticed it happening like an unusual amount. And my stomach was getting really, really uncomfortable. A bit TMI, but it weren't until I got my period last. I had really bad bloating that day anyway. And then on top of the period bloat, it was bad. <laughs> That spurred me to do a little bit of research. Now, I am gonna put a disclaimer here and say, I do not know how legit what I'm doing is. This is so embarrassing. Why am I gonna tell you this? I I don't have a fear of needles, but for some reason I have some unexplained fear around having blood tests. So basically going to get a blood test to find out if I'm allergic or like intolerant to something or to try and figure out what the hell this bloating situation is just isn't really an option that I want to do right now. So I done a little bit of research and you actually can get intolerance tests online, which I found really interesting. So they're not an allergy test. They're just to test. Um, I think it's like either intolerance or sensitivity towards food so i've gone and got one i'm not saying this to recommend because I, I literally don't know how legit this is and i don't know how accurate it is you basically you can get some you can do some that are like at home blood tests but i don't want some of that either it wasn't very expensive and i'm sure there are plenty more accurate ones you can get out there if you wanted to spend more money i don't suffer with the blowing all the time it's only every now and then and this is the first kind of step that i'm taking to try and figure this out and i just thought i'd try it and see if it helps because like i said it isn't all the time and so i do think it's just certain foods my stomach don't agree with i don't want to it literally makes me feel sick why did i get it out of the bag why did i get it? i'm putting it back in the I, I literally can't look at it basically the way they do it is by taking a hair sample and i did not know you can get um you can get drug tests done i hope not yeah um they can test stuff like that in your hair I did, I literally had no idea that was even possible. So yeah, I didn't know that, but anyway, obviously that's not what this is. Basically you just have to cut some of your hair off and put it in an envelope and send it to them, <laughs> which is really gross. So anyway, I got my dad to do it for me earlier at the back of my head. So I've done it, I've put it in a little bag. I just, it disgusts me. I don't know why I've always had a thing about hair. Like even talking about it, I don't know what it is. Um, I've always just had such a thing about a hair that's like, not attached to anything so like loose hairs or like oh, i can't even I, I have such a thing about it talking about it makes me want to gag yeah i don't want to talk about it because it actually freaks me out but that's in there so i want to go to the post box <laughs> to post my hair off i'll keep you guys updated and i'll let you know hopefully in my next vlog or something i'll go through the results with you i'm curious and i just thought you know what i'm not gonna get a blood test so i might as well give it a go and see what happens so yeah i haven't got anything to lose other than the money i paid for it but that's that's gone now so yeah let's go to the post box